Hey, everybody. How you doing? This is your boy, Stone Thug. Also host of the Smartest Man in the World uh, show. And I uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out. Uh, rest in peace, uh, Robin Williams, the actor who I happen to uh, had known. I worked on a movie studio lot for many years, lots of different studio lots, and um, I was able to uh, meet a lot of the people who I um, admired growing up. And I remember um, Robin Williams from Mork and Mindy, the reruns. I used to watch the show where he started, and then various movies and all, and I had a chance to meet with him on the Sony Picture Lot, which was the old uh, Lorimar Pictures, which was the, um, it's the Sony Picture Studio Lot right now, you know. Anyway, um, he was, uh, you know, we would talk, and um, I wasn't like a, a friend or anything like that. I was just a fan, but I was a fan who was able to have access to him. I met, you know, lots of celebrities would not like that. And um, I did notice the time that I did have, the times I had a chance to speak with him and see him. I detected depression on him. If you know people that suffer from depression, and I'm not saying, and I hope I'm wrong, that he, um, his death is self-inflicted. That's where they're leaning toward right now. He just passed away sometime today. But he did suffer from some form of depression. I think even in a couple of movies he made, I think they were sort of um, telling I remember a particular picture he made where he worked in a, um, he was a film processor. And in that movie, it was the, probably the only movie we actually played a questionable bad guy. And that bad guy in that movie dealt with depression. I enjoyed the movie. I don't think it did a whole lot. But when I uh, spoke with him, I said something to him and he did something that I thought was kind of odd. Now, I don't know if it means anything, but it was a particular scene in a movie where he had on a white suit and he had just survived some sort of bomb blast or had some terrible time. Some of you real... Um, movie goers out there to be more familiar what what movie it was. This particular one, he did so many, I just can't recall it. But in this particular movie, he was all messed up. His hair was messed up. His clothes was messed up. And we had some one-on-one -on -one time together. And I said to him, Robin, I've seen you look better. And we were off the set and it was not doing filming he was still in his blown up clothes but he his immediate response wasn't to laugh or think it was funny that he was all dirty and bummy looking his immediate response was to explain he was sad it was it, it, it wasn't the response that you expect. And it caught me off guard. I was really shocked. Because I thought it was funny. He was just survived the, you know, like a, it was like the end of the movie. He just survived this terrible, terrible explosion. All these terrible things happened to him. And he still had the clothes on. And he was... It, it seemed as though the comment, it was like he took it personal. And I thought that uh, was shocking, surprising to me. And um, it might not mean anything. It might not mean a, a whole, you know, a great deal. But... Um, 
I just really wanted him to know that uh, I didn't know him well. I didn't know him long. But I respected him. And I, like so many others, you know, loved the guy because he brought so much joy. People have different favorite movies that they liked him in. Goodwill Hunting. My particular one I liked him in was the, uh, I liked him in Goodwill Hunting. And so many of the others. I hated Mrs. Doubtfire. Sorry, guys. But, um, Good Morning Vietnam. It's an oldie, but a classic, a goodie. And then the one he played the doctor who helped people, who kind of made his own rules and regulations. I'm not sure which one that the name of it is right now, but, uh, I really liked that one. I thought it had a message in it. A strong message that thinking out the box or being different is a good thing. Anyway, that's my Robin Williams story. God bless you, brother, wherever you are. I pray that, you know, um, I believe in heaven. And um, I know he believed in a better place. And if that better place is what I call heaven, I hope I and you see him again one day. I mean, a long time from now, but still want to see him. Hope he's making angels laugh. All right. God bless you, brother. It's your boy, Stone Thug. Out. Take care, Robin.